Hello, my beautiful denture family out there. It's your favorite denture wearer again. Hope everybody's doing okay today. I wanted to do a recap because a lot of people have been commenting about that I don't know the frustration and the aggravation they're going through and and things like that. Um, understand something, please. I progressed extremely fast. I pushed myself beyond my own limits. So I'm going to take you through actual videos that I still have on YouTube that apparently you haven't gone back and looked at yet to see the struggle. But what I'm going to show you is, is the successes I had, not the struggles. There's plenty of videos on my channel about me struggling. I'm going to show you the successes that I had with my sheer determination to use these teeth like real teeth. So we're going to start off right here with day one, having my teeth pulled and immediate dentures put in. All the teeth are gone. Okay, nothing left in there. All gone. And I can't talk. But that's okay. Yeah, I don't mind. So as you can see, I was wide awake when they ripped out all my teeth, had 25 teeth pulled, um, wasn't put to sleep, just sat there in the chair while he pulled my teeth and shaved my jaw bones down and sewed my gums back up. Now here, four days later with immediate dentures, I'm already eating. Yes, it felt like I was chewing on razor blades and broken glass, but I'm eating. Take a look at this. Hello YouTube. This will be my officially fourth day since I went in really early on the third to get my teeth. This will officially be my fourth day with my dentures. And I'm eating solid food. The hardest part is getting your top lip to come down around the spoon. That was day four. Now... On day nine, my ninth day with my dentures, and all these videos are in order on my channel. You can go back to the beginning of my channel and watch all these videos in order. Um, and there's videos in between every day that I'm putting up here. So now on day nine, um, check this one out. Uh, first order of business, this is the um, ninth day with my immediate dentures. And I have to say, it's been a fucking nightmare. Um, if I had to do it all over again, I would actually... I would actually um, have the extractions done, and I would wait a couple of months before I got my dentures made. So that was my ninth day with having 25 extractions done, jawbone shaved down, gum stitched up, and immediate dentures placed in my mouth. Now... We're skipping to day 12, because I don't want to post every single thing that I've gone through on this particular video. I just want to show you why you should really go back to the beginning of my channel. If you're just now getting dentures, immediate dentures, whatever the case may be, and you're trying to learn how to do stuff, there are so many tips and tricks in the beginning of my videos. Um, not, I don't just show you eating food. I, there's a million tips and tricks in between my eating videos, but I want to show you the successes that I had. So here we are at day 12, right after getting the stitches taken out of my gun. Hello YouTube, day 12, uh, new dentures. Eating a beef burrito, just so you know. It does get easier, it does get better. Day 12, beef burrito, still a little hard to chew. Gums are still a little sore. Can't bite through anything like toast or sandwiches yet, but um, as far as chewing and eating, thumbs up. All right, so here we are at day 20, and I'm learning how to bite. I'm learning how to keep the bottom denture in place. And at this point, I am using adhesive on day 20. I'm using adhesive. But if you still don't bite correctly, that denture will lift in the back and eventually it will break that adhesive loose. 
So I'm teaching myself how to bite properly with softer foods, but at least I'm biting. Hello, YouTube. Day 20. Um, wanted to share this. I've been uh, attempting to bite through things, which please keep in mind that this bottom denture doesn't sit on the front right here. Um, you know, the denture goes straight across and my jawbone comes down right here. So my denture sits from here back on both sides. So I basically have nothing under the denture right there. But, just like everybody else, I'm attempting to learn how to eat again. And I've progressively gotten better and better. I stopped at uh, the store, and like I said <clears throat> previously, practice at home. And I picked up these little sausage biscuits. And I've already eaten one. And uh, just to show you, day 20. Now here we are in week five. And this video is pretty self-explanatory. I don't really think I needed to say anything in the video, nor did I even need to, um, nor do I need to speak to it now. Week five. Check this out. All right, chicken and things of that nature was pretty simple for me, but it wasn't really hard food. So here we are in week six. I'm learning how to bite through more difficult foods like cookies. Cookies are very hard foods to bite through. Check it out. Watch the expression on my face as I try to power through this cookie. Cookies. All right, so I made it through that cookie, and now here we are in week seven. Um, I had broken my bottom denture and had to wait to get my new bottom denture made. And right after I got my new bottom denture made, I was at a friend's house, and this is what happened. And it's all been history since then. I've just progressively kept going and kept going and kept going like the Energizer Bunny and just never gave up. And if you watch these videos and watch many other videos throughout the progress uh, that I've made, you'll see that it's been challenging. I've celebrated my successes and I've just loved life. Check out this video. <laughs> Forgot to turn on the camera. I'm at a friend's house and they had apples and I decided to try one. And you can't eat apples with dentures. You can do it. Well, I hope this shows those of you out there that don't believe I went through all this, the facts, and shows you that maybe you need to go back to the beginning of my channel. And I know I, I do the same thing. I come into a channel and I start watching videos and I never think to go to their page and go to their oldest videos to see how they started out, what all happened to, for them to get to this point. We need to do that if we're going to really learn um, and read the comments because there are tons and tons of answers in the comments. So, 
you know, I hope this helps some of you out there. In the meantime, keep smiling, keep trying, and please never give up.